Hello, everybody. It is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with another episode of Going Medieval. This is episode number six on the uh, Aber Wyvern seat. Um, we are playing the fictional community of Aber Wyvern. Um, it is winter, and we have some problems. Um, Aber Wyvern is a community loosely based on uh, the fictional community of Aber Wyvern from the 1980s children's book uh, Castle by David McCauley um, and the associated uh, PBS documentary by the same name. So our problem is we have no food for our animals. We are down to 29 animal feed. All my hay, I, I went back and I watched the video, and what actually happened is my hay rotted. And my hay all rotted at once because, of course, it was all big stacks of hay and it was all sitting outside for the same length of time. So each stack expired at the same time, which is heckin' inconvenient. Um, and so we're left with no hay to feed the animals. We've got these wonderful boars who are presently in captivity um, who will starve and die if we don't manage to feed them. And uh, we're not going to see grass for three days. So I think the animals in the pen here will make it the sheep and the goats. I did slaughter some goats, and we're, we're cooking them and eating them as we, as we can. Um, but just super, super upsetting stuff. Um, quite the setback, uh, given how well I was doing. Um, I really need to build a silo that's going to be um, hay storage. Probably should just put the hay indoors in the basement. Um, next time, I'm going to suck it up, keep in the kitchen. Um, lessons learned. I forgot completely that this was exposed and not floored. If you keep the hay on a floor, it doesn't decay. So long as it's under a roof, if it's under a roof and on a floor, your hay doesn't decay. I'm kind of rhyming. Um, but really, really too bad. Really too bad. Okay, I guess I'll speed time up anyway. It's, what, 6 in the morning? And we'll see what happens. Yeah, that, that pig is going to get trapped. Whatever. Find a way to get him down. Somehow the pig got yeeted out, and I'm not going to ask questions. Okay. So, Kevin Hankin just had a, had a falling out. <sighs> Now what? What should I research next? I had I had something of a plan. Cartography would be a good idea, maybe, so I can get the map table. I think I actually need to learn decorative structures. And we're headed into the spring, so beekeeping seems like like an idea. It's already getting uh, getting warm out. Six degrees at winter day ten. I mean, we're gonna probably get one more cold snap. But uh, is there any grass? Is there, is there like one? <laughs> Wouldn't be that lucky. There's berries over there. Do animals eat berries? I think animals eat berries. That might be. That might be the saving. Oh, and there's there is some uh, some barley coming in over there. Oh wow, we got a. It's like a early, it's kind of like a heat wave here. Okay, well, I'm going to drop a couple skeps here. And send somebody to gather the berries. It's not really not that many, but that might, that might be enough to save the, uh, save the whole, the whole situation. As long as the people don't eat them. A pile of foxes over here. Um, those are those are foxy voxels over there. Uh, I could stand to get some fox fur in. I've started to realize that uh, when you produce clothes, just like in RimWorld, when you produce clothes with different um, items, I didn't realize this uh, initially, 
but if you make a fox fur hat, it will be like it will look like a fox fur hat. Um, if you produce a linen shirt, it will look like a linen shirt. Like it's a very uh, very responsive. Um, is your movement still away? Okay, that's good. Who is in charge of harvesting in this season? Nobody, of course. Um, yeah, it's a very responsive sort of feature. Um, the materials dictate aesthetics. I think it's cool. Anyway, so we'll send Osgar to harvest and then haul. I really do need to get carpentry too so I can make more bows. Um, eventually our bows will break. Okay, and then let's think about where we put the uh, berries. I want to put the default stockpile here. And food. So just one time here while I'm doing this. Uh, raw food, and we'll put red currants on there. Then we'll take red currants. Like, do all the shelves. All the food shelves, red currants off the shelves. That's super obnoxious. A good number of these shelves don't have uh, food storage anyway. Yeah, and this is only temporary. I'm gonna wind up having to undo this, but uh, we're lucky enough that there's something animals will eat. I just need to keep these pigs alive long enough to. Uh, long enough to tame them. I'm really not worried about the uh, animal feed situation. I think we're being pretty economical with our... Uh, let's take that off. Pretty economical with our animal feed. Uh, the last what, 29 animal feed we've got. Okay. I'm actually super excited to play this now. I uh, this is This is probably my favorite part of the game is like once the the walls and your your layout start to take shape. And again, like I'm I'm going for perfection here. We're not we're not going for like good enough. Um Ravensworth, the uh, you know, the second hardest difficulty that was good enough, but right now we are going for perfection. Is that Osman going off to pick his berries? Yeah it is. Oh, he's going off to haul his berries. Okay, that's good. You know, I might actually send uh really not that many red currants, eh? Boy, that's depressing. I guess it is winter. He picked it all up. Uh, okay, well, that is what it is. We got 19 brought in. There's probably another 15 or 20 coming in. Now, where did they get put, Osgar? I don't know who brought them in, to be honest, but it doesn't look like they went on the... Oh, these shelves. <laughs> uh, it's just, uh, it is extra, extra annoying. Um, that's fine. Okay. Surely I've managed to tick all the shelves now that could possibly double check that one. I think I got it. Yeah, I got it on that one. And no, that's that one would have been all right. Okay, Mark. Correctly sorted and good. The pigs are eating. You know, there's no reason at this point why uh, why we don't actually move that stockpile somewhere so I can get the pigs in their uh, final configuration there. Raw red current. Oh no, 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 no. Everything else. And there we go. Okay. Red currents have been delivered. Forty red currents. 
cat just gave birth. We're <laughs> you start wearing like cat fur clothing. We're we're uh we have the we have a crazy crazy cat lady problem going on here. There's too many cats. They're gonna give kittens away. I will sell them every time merch comes down. But here, take some kittens. Okay. Okay, I think I think it's gonna be fine now. I was I was apprehensive, but we'll we'll make it through to grass before the animals starve. Get some hay. Now the wolves are another story entirely. These these are probably pretty close to starve. Yeah, they're they're damn hungry. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going to divide this into fenced areas. I'm super, uh, I don't care. Super cavalier about the outcome on this. This is, uh, this is an experiment. Okay, let's uh, make a couple stockpiles. And we're going to set the uh, raw food, and it's going to be raw meat stockpile. Um, and we're gonna set the priority to very high. Uh, clear all raw meat stockpile. We're gonna set the priority to very high. Yeah, I could probably just do that. Okay. okay. Okay, let's make sure this default isn't actually. Okay, I've managed to pan a pig. <laughs> uh, it's a male boar. <laughs> this is going to be so funny. Okay, can I expand this horizontally? I probably can, right? No. No, it wouldn't be that easy. Default stockpile, expand that, and then expand one more, and then we're going to set up. A couple more tame and pens here. I don't know. This, this seems to be the right way to do it, right? Copy this, paste it onto these, and then I'm actually gonna. He's gonna he's gonna eat a little bit more anyway, and I don't I don't need to worry about keeping the pig fed. Uh, now that he's eaten, at least not today. Okay, this is going very well. It's not perfect. Again, I'm sore that I lost that hay. Silos are hard to build because they're pretty big. You think it'd be pretty big to get uh, a seven by seven by seven, pretty much, or five by five with corners. For how I choose to look at it, seven by seven is the correct dimension, though. That's not too. It's not too much smaller than the tower. Uh, it is the, the internal footprint of one of these towers. So.
Who's my mining guy again? Hankin's the mining guy. Well, let's get Hankin mining. Twenty-five degrees outside. I really, I, I could probably start planting and get an early, like an early start on this the planting season. But, um, you know, one cold snap will kill like all of your crops super early. Got all this cleared land over here too. We're gonna plant this season. Just need this dug out. That's a big, that's a big old field there. Yeah, there's stone underneath this field, so. Hey, what I need to do is I need to create a, a, a dirt, a dirt pile somewhere. Somewhere kind of accessible. That's a tougher order here. I guess we're going to need to learn terraforming, which is, uh, 45, uh, I'm going to need to, uh, put a research table in here somewhere, just slap a research table in there, and we'll have Oscar build it, it's a little late at night to build one. I can't plant over here or dig over there, which sucks. That that dirt is just a waste. Um, I put put an apple orchard over there, and then how many of these do I have? Birch saplings. Thirty-seven. So I can just. Toss a few rounds in places where I'm not going to plant definitively so that I get uh, some wood back. I, mean, I, could, I could just be planting dense areas over here, I guess. There's no reason to click 37 times. I'm not counting. I lost count at like 15, so... Just say that's good for now. Uh, maples are 37 also, so we're just going to toss those around. Yeah, so these won't be ready this season, but by next winter we'll have uh, some some woods. Um, pine saplings, same thing, just a few.
pause the Juicy Chronicle. It's media 45 in this last day of winter. We can do it, right? And the berries are gone. I don't need to uh, mine out stone right now. As long as there's a male and female boar left in captivity. Two males and a female. Um, it's not an ideal ratio, but I can I can grow this population up at a piece. Okay, the other animals are still fine. Oh, no, we didn't. Good. We're almost completely done the first course. Okay, it's spring day one. Okay, let's plant everything we can right away. Um, the big priority is going to be the barley, and then the herbs, and then the cabbages. So we need to get 44 barley down uh, right away. So if I do three rows, that's pretty good. And then um, we'll plant cabbages in the rest of the space to start. Seems like a waste of space to do these uh, staggered rows. But uh, when disease spreads, it's so much easier to contain. I'm sure we'll get some crop blight this season. There really isn't any large growing space 
on that side. There's some on that other side on the west. Uh, well, over here. But I need to I need to move dirt and terraform a bunch before we can get a really good uh, really good field going. Um, let's we'll delete that barley field. That's fine. We'll delete that beet field. That's fine. We're gonna sow that herb field right away, and we'll even expand it a little bit with another layer, which brings it to twelve. And I only got twelve beet seeds, so we'll do. Uh, larger, but not too large beet fields. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I want you to be... Stay in our fields, and then... There we go. We need beet fields of the same dimension. Whatever. And... Um, Flax, I really, I need to get like a flax area going. Flax is probably the easiest and lowest maintenance crop because nothing eats it. You can just kind of plant it and ignore it and harvest it twice a season, pretty much. Um... So we'll manage. Uh, everybody's doing okay. Set priority to growing. Research priority to two. Cooking priority to three for you. Cooking priority to two for you. And let's tailoring to three. I don't know if we made the summer clothes or not. I want to get terraforming before I make bows. I have enough bows. Planting has to happen. Everything's fine. Spring day one, it's warmed up, and we'll plant now. Winter's on construction. Banking will be on uh, mining still. Garden will be on animal husbandry. Yep, okay. Now I'm going to look out for any grass at all as it pops up so we can I take a day or two. One of the boars wander? Yeah, one of the boars wandered. Sheep are breeding. That's not good. I really need to get this stuff out. Also, the meat is gone. Oh, I guess I fed the wolves with my meat. Boy, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's tough to manage. I wish you could set, like, only five meat to a pile rather than, like, to set a priority and 
you know, whatever. Just wolf must starve. No, it managed to eat some of that meat. Cat can eat the meat. Cat can walk through the gates, apparently. There's going to be barley, wild barley. Take forever to grow. We really need hay. One more, one more day in the animals. They're gonna start to starve, and then it's anybody's guess what happens after that. So. Oh, Andrew is stuck. He managed to get himself stuck. Well, let's delete that. You see, he didn't start to starve before I caught it. This is fucking bad, actually. This is very bad. Spring is a pretty lean season in this game, um, especially in your first spring, because you really you didn't have the massive stockpile that you're gonna have in your second. Doesn't look like he managed to get any fucking farming done either. I'm gonna have to pay close attention to my farmers, Catherine, and because we're on spring day two now already. Catherine and Oscar both need to. The goats are fucking breeding. On food again. Okay, mushrooms. Should be one of those glean everything we can kind of situations. There's my grain somewhere. Maximum yield in one day. We're gonna make it. I have a I have a I have a good feeling we're gonna make it. I'm gonna lose a boar, but that's okay. I didn't I didn't waste the time on taming it.
How is there a wolf in my settlement? That's not good. I guess it can't access my livestock, but but it could. If it if it got if it was a hole in the fence, it would just like every so often I'd uh, I'd lose a goat. Like goat died, goat died. What what's killing my oh there's a wolf on the loose, right? Fox in the hen house. Okay. I can't stress this enough. I, I don't know why they're not gardening. Oh, they're planting the damn trees. What's my problem here? Okay, okay. I understand why they didn't finish their farming on the first day. <laughs> the game gets progressively harder as things get more complicated. You have more things to remember. You had a perfect first year. I'd say flawless first year, um, with the exception of that last little bitty with the pigs, which set us up for some stress this season. Um, now they're just okay. That's good. We'll open these pens. They're still planting trees. So, oh, someone, someone went, went and did half a row of barley. Okay, animals are hungry. We're now in an emergency slash survival situation. The first bit of grass is up in 20 hours. They're, they're going to just chew through that too. This is... Uh, You know what can I have got? Sheep, 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 goat, sheep. So four sheep, two adult goats, and a couple baby sheep. Or baby goats. Baby goats, yeah. And a baby sheep. Can't really slaughter those. We don't have enough hay to make our beehives either. Boy, if a if a if a fodder merchant was to show up right now, <laughs> like Oh, that'd be good. It's that I'm not gonna really that I'm not going to be that lucky. Food reserves aren't as low. We're out of food. Really don't need to mine.
Boy, that dirt disappeared. I hope it got hauled. Yeah, it got hauled. Okay. The dirt, does the dirt just disappear? Like... Really isn't that much dirt either. You gotta, you gotta mine out a lot to... I think it's 20 per block. Oh, there's something I can do. I need to put the uh, tool shelf in the basement. I just switch everybody over to summer clothes. No harm here. there Damn. Ooh, there's grass growing there <laughs> sort of early season you gotta you gotta graze your animals where you can I wonder if turning them no turning them loose would just get them killed I guess things would eat them but oh there's some there's a lot of grass growing over there okay how long until that stuff's ripe two days three days 21 hours And if you don't clear cut all your grass right away, it propagates. More over there too. Okay. That wolf fucking bread. Okay. Now this barley is critical because it gets me hay. Like this is the long-term viability of this community. Eventually this field here will be, you know, by next season, this field will be nothing but barley. And then we're going to have every year a sustainable self-replacing source of hay that will sustain a very large animal population. I just have to keep my animals alive through the entirety of the first season. Okay. Now, wait for it. Make sure fodder is turned off on the main stockpile. And initially fodder will only go in troughs. It should have enough. And um, as far as my animal husbandry goes, I'm going to turn off the sheep pen, turn back on the sheep pen, rather turn off the mixed pen, The goat sheep. Do a couple boar pens here. I'm just gonna leave those wolves cooped up while either starve or I'll solve the problem. I don't really care about the wolves. Apparently they're useful for defense. Like I guess I guess you can tame them and incorporate them into your your build as a uh, settlers are starving too. Boy, this is not ideal. Okay. Only one way to solve this. Go hunt, dude. Uh -huh. Let's see if I can 
right. There's a bear. Somewhere out there. Bear somewhere out there. I guess you can tame bears now. Forgot they were in the game. Such a bears will aggro. Settlers though. Interesting spot. Wolves used to, but they uh they changed that. All the deer. All the male deer, cull. All the goats again. The difference between cutting and harvesting when it comes to grass. I'm about to find out. Stuff really couldn't be further from my pens either. I need to create like access over on this side so I can expand the field with it. There is no functional difference. Might as well just cut that grass too then. Okay, well at least we're bringing the feed in. Now where is she taking it? She's taking it to... No, she's going to take it to the smart animals first, whatever. Oh, Mark just sheared the sheep. That's cool. Okay, hang on there, buddy. Let's wait for one of the boars to go for. Will they not eat from the... Oh, that one's full. That's weird. What did they eat? Okay. You know what? Let's take fodder off these for now. I don't know what they ate. They managed to find some food somewhere in the... But these starved. Oh, yeah. My, my animals are going to start dying if they don't get that... Can't wait another day.
No empty spot on stock. Oh my god, I'm dumb. That's a problem. They actually have to be able to accept hay. Okay, where's Osgar now? Right here. I am dumb. That was... I was super weak. Kevin and Hank and her friends again. They had, a, they had a falling out, but they're good now. Good now. I have friends like that. I'm also friends with whom I will never be friends again. Things are not going well now. This is... Starting to, uh... People are starting to get upset. They're starting to starve. Let's feed them. Cook that meat so people can eat. Not enough resources. Maybe it isn't enough resources. The pantry's fucking bare. Hang on. There were animal corpses, but I don't know where they've gone. Are they in the basement? No. There, now she'll cut up some meat. Yeah, there's a goat there. Okay, okay, we're good. No one will actually starve. Okay, I'm good with it, I'm good with it. Someone's actually taking damage there. There's <laughs> this grass ripens for just ripping it out of the ground. It's too bad you're supposed to let the grass like propagate and cover a whole area and then go toward the end of the season do a big harvest, but the need is dire. The need is dire. Mm, 
There we go. I need to uh, Oscar to why is his mood so bad? Okay, he just needs a drink. That's all. Uh, Space Invader. Space Invader from the Amsterdam Brewery here in Toronto. Um, this is my first can. Um, if I look a little pallid, because it's something that did not agree with me. But uh, You know, I got one of these these weak stomachs that can't can't digest dairy super well. So, but I love cheese. But I love cheese. So, and maybe I'm finally maybe I'm finally gonna put up a chivalry video today. Uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Got a bunch of B-roll. It is it is a really funny game, but now the animals are all eating. What percentage? Tamed is it? Does it say? Tame zero percent. Okay, but they he he did just try to tame it. So now we're spring day five. Things are gonna get easier. Probably gonna get attacked before the end of this this uh, video. I I got about ten minutes left, and I'm it's been a while since we've been attacked. So. Whoa, you don't just leave that lying there. Kind of a little AI issue too. Like I, I think the procedure or the, the, the process, uh, the you know, the AI uh flow workflow should be if you gather something to collect it, if it's a small amount that you can carry back, like they shouldn't waste the trip. Um I don't know how within within the confines of the scheduler and the jobs. Um, board. I I don't know how you'd actually hard code that. That might be impossible. It really took it really took the duration of an entire episode um just to solve the the fodder problem pretty much okay I keep hearing the sound and I keep clicking on that but there's never any new research because nobody's researching right now so I'm just gonna buy something so they can make the most useful thing for them to make right now probably fermenting to be honest. And, uh, decorative banners. Why not? The cat just had twins.
quality. It's a good workshop. It says workshop good. That's good. Again, that'll all that'll all get moved around. I'll fix up the uh, the settings on the uh, the display racks there so they take their armor off at a season. Um, like I don't think Hankins wearing armor right now. He's his armor probably decayed. I think most of their armor decayed, didn't it? I haven't seen male armor. No, there's 88 health in his. Yeah, I don't know. The cat just died. But I don't... I don't think it died of... I think those are just natural causes. A lot of cats. I'm not I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried about losing a cat at this point. I'm more worried about too many cats. Kinda it kinda makes for a confusing they're running all over the place there, right? Like maybe going a little little cat slaughter. I need him to deconstruct these. Okay. And then I need to expand the bone. Uh, that's what's going on with that. Okay. Huh? Huh? All right. I get it. Make a dumping stockpile in the corner there. That we uh, keep human carcasses and waste on. Waste should include bones, right? Yeah, it does. All right. So then he can haul the bones out. And that just has to be out of the corner. Okay. Then we're going to put a fermenting station in the corner. Like that. And I'll have him build it. And we're going to have it, uh, we'll make cheese. I can even turn this into a kitchen now, but I have decorations. Uh, what is it? Pottery shelf. Put two pottery shelves in there, and I'll have him build those as well. And when they're done, it should become a kitchen. I might need to actually put a, uh, a stove in. Whatever. Because my food reserves are low, but that's clearly not true. We got 163 raw meat and 23. Okay, so we're going to have these guys go back to growing. Okay. 
You're good. Good, and we've got hay now. Could have hay in all the stations. Might as well just pen these guys in where they are, right? Like, they can't climb down from there, I don't think. No, they can't climb down from there, but just in case. Put a drop in there and add them to the taming roster. I don't know if the pigs are actually worth the effort. I, I, I suspect that they give, uh, because they are um, an aggressive species, I suspect they give a crap ton of meat. Um, but we'll, we'll see if that theory is borne out in practice. Um, I've noticed that you can assign the cats to individual people, so I don't know if they help that person or follow them, or what the fuck are you doing, dude? Oh, they're taming. Taming attempt failed, taming attempt failed, okay. Of course the pigs, as soon as the pen... <laughs> As soon as the pen is in construction, the pigs like wander off, okay? Let's set this to default. Pen can go close it. That's really funny. Almost like tragicomic irony. Uh, and we'll keep that one open in case Piggy there wants to. Please tell me it's the female. Yeah, all right. We got both male pigs penned up over there. Keep open. Default. Run, dude. Yes. Yes. All right. We got three, three pigs penned. They're never getting out now. All right. That's, I call that great success. Um, if I, when I, when I do the card for the, the YouTube card for this episode, I'm totally just putting the three pigs in pen side by side. Um, those who know, know. Let's get, uh, let's get some more hay. I've never done this kind of granular animal husbandry thing before. I've always kind of ignored the animals and just like, you know, either let them die or bulk, bulk farmed goats and that's it. But I understand that diversification is the key to a healthy economy. Um, different things will be, you know, producing different commodities. And the pigs produce... Lots of mushies. All right. All right. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do harvest. Everybody's going to go down to hall one. And we're going to try to get as much hay in as we can. Keep my eyes out for berries too. I wanna I wanna plant a bunch of berries. You have so many goddamn limestone bricks too. 
when I when I start rebuilding next season. Um, I'll probably get into it in the a little bit in the summer, but in the in the fall and winter again. I mean, all of this was like a thousand blocks, so we're gonna we're gonna triple the size, uh, the amount of blocks we've got laid. At least, and uh, we're going to mine these internal areas out, right, and start to like this. This area here will be the uh, the final level. Really, super nice. Okay, we're up to 600 hay. That's not Wow. This is going to be with the uh with the end of it here, I think. He's really not good at taming. Like for someone with high animal husbandry, you'd think they'd be better at taming, but I really don't want this Got to starve. Okay, they just, they've got to fill the, the male pig's trough. Doesn't look like they're... That's just obnoxious. Wait, can I set the priority on this one? Is that a thing I can do? Priority very high. Uh, priority... Low priority. Low priority. That affects it. Put all the priorities to low. Now we're just, we're just experimenting. And uh... but why won't he take it to the high prayer? Oh, whatever. Whatever, she just fed it. That's fine. Crisis averted. Right? Okay. There. He's topped him up. 
Okay, well, uh, all the animals are fed, <laughs> except the wolves, um, and that's fine. Uh, I don't really care about them. I care about these uh, fine Tamworths, which we're going to get some uh, get some meat off eventually. But we're going to, you know, they're, they're naturally pretty aggressive. Um, and we're going to tame them slowly over time. Um, and we're going to work on keeping all our other animals fed and bred um, and in good health. Um, cabbages got planted, most of them. Um, we're going to need to finish that up on the next episode. It is spring day eight. Um, we'll be heading to a barley harvest soon. And uh, then maybe we can get back to uh, a little bit of researching and building in high summer um, before the um, inevitable fall harvests, uh, late summer, uh, early fall harvests um, and haul. So yeah, um, that's all for me for now. Thank you so much for uh, watching me play uh, Going Medieval. Uh, it's a community management survival game for Voxy Voxel. Uh, and if you like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel. Um, and as always, keep it peaceful out there.